Non-articular musculoskeletal pain is a common condition, but rarely is it serious. When you see a patient with soft tissue pain, first determine if the pain is localized or diffuse. This will narrow your differential diagnosis. If the pain is localized, rule out a history of trauma or overuse injury. It is then important to explore the following red flags. Pain at rest, night pain, constitutional symptoms, neurologic or peripheral vascular exam findings, signs of infection, or personal history of cancer. Further investigation with urgent imaging is needed if any of the above is present. Diffuse soft tissue pain present for less than six weeks is most likely due to an acute viral illness and no further investigations are required unless symptoms persist. Chronic diffuse pain in a patient over 50 years of age may be polymyalgia rheumatica. It presents as stiffness or aching in the upper arms and thighs. Pain is worse in the morning and improves with activity. Erythrocyte sedimentation rate, ESR, and or C-reactive protein, CRP, are usually elevated. The pain is responsive to prednisone 15 to 20 milligrams daily. 15 to 30 percent of patients will also have giant cell arteritis. Rule this out by asking about temporal headache, vision loss, scalp sensitivity, or jaw claudication. Giant cell arteritis is an emergency. If the patient has diffuse body pain with numerous associated symptoms, such as non-restorative sleep pattern, consider fibromyalgia. Other than soft tissue pain, the physical exam and basic labs should be normal. Fibromyalgia is best managed by the primary care physician, with a focus on lifestyle counseling to increase physical activity and improve sleep. Low-dose antidepressants or anticonvulsants can be helpful treatment adjuvants. Reassure the patient that it is not a damaging condition and limit medical investigations.